Today we'll be installing the latest cold shrink products from Burndy. This install will be done on a copper tape shield conductor. In our previous video, Cable Preparation, we've prepared our cable to install our CSGO termination kit. For detailed cable preparation instructions, please reference the video we have that goes through the step-by-step -step process of proper cable preparation. We will now move to the installation of the YA262N. Before we start, let's make sure we have the right connection or sleeve for the job. We will be using a Burndy CSGO 15210 termination kit that is rated for both indoor and outdoor applications. For the connector, we'll use a Burndy YA262N two-hole NEMA connector. We will be installing this termination on 2-aught 5kV tape shield conductor. What do we mean by tape shield conductor? If you look at the layers of the conductor, you'll see that in this case it has a jacket, in this case a tape shield, the next layer is a semicon, and then the insulation, stranded conductor shield, and finally the conductor. First, I'd like to talk about the different components that are included in the purchase of your Burndy CSGO termination kit. You'll have your cold shrink termination sleeve that is expanded over the plastic easy rip cord that is now recyclable. One feature on this sleeve that we would like to highlight is its integrated mastic lining that is installed at the factory on both ends of the termination. This high-performance Burndy High Seal Mastic makes installation easier and ensures a very high-quality consistent termination. Next, you'll have a solder-sealed ground braid for the electrical connection during the installation. You'll have a constant force spring. You'll have a piece of the moisture sealing mastic. You'll have a copper foil tape. You'll have an electrical grade tape. You'll have a solvent wipe kit and an installation guide. Using your Burndy installation guide, it is recommended to taking the time and reading through and highlighting pertinent information for your specific installation to ensure proper cutback lengths for each layer. Determine the proper lengths of cutoffs for each layer of the conductor to ensure a proper install and for your mastic that is inside the tube, sit correctly at those critical locations. Please make sure you carefully go through step-by-step -step with your installation guide. Now that you have the proper cutback lengths, it's time to install the connector, crimping a Burndy connector. Select the appropriate die style to match the installation tool. Insert the dies into the tool. Place the connector between the installed dies. Use the color stripes as a guide for crimp placement. Refer to the master catalog pages for required number of crimps depending on tool and die selected. Begin the tool's crimping cycle and continue until the full cycle is complete. Now, the most important part of this whole installation would be the cleaning of the cable. Wipe insulation from the transition point from the semicon and the insulation layer towards the lug and semicon layer. If any excess particles are left behind, tracking could take place as the connection is energized. Be sure not to touch the semicon or any wiped areas that could become contaminated from oils or dust. This is imperative. Mark the jacket to the predetermined measurement according to the instructions. Look at the thickness of the jacket to be removed at the end of the cable. Install the marker tape butted up against the leading edge of the marked dimension. Next, we'll install the mastic. Apply the mastic up against the edge of the cable jacket cutback with little tension. You'll want to go around two times. Now we'll go ahead and install the ground braid. The braid itself has a contoured edge. That contoured edge will sit up against the jacket cut back, so it will leave a smooth edge once the braid is bent backwards. Once the braid is butted up against the jacket, use the constant force spring and apply two wraps around the tape shield. Bend the braid backwards towards the jacket over the constant force spring, again, so the contour of the braid is firm and up against the edge of the spring. Press the braid firmly against the mastic to create somewhat of a bond. Remember, this is for grounding purposes. Once the braid is applied, finish wrapping the remainder of the constant force spring until fully installed. Tighten the force spring to ensure a tight fit. Using the PVC tape provided with the kit, apply two layers of tape directly over the constant force spring so this will cover any sharp edges that the braid or constant force spring may have. Next, 
Take the cold shrink sleeve and position the sleeve with the sheds or skirts towards the end of the termination. Gently pull the rip cord as the sleeve is lined up to the edge of the marker tape, slightly turning the shrink tubing as it begins to shrink down. Take your time at the beginning of the shrinking process. You can overlap a little over the PVC tape and pull so the shrunk tube sits firmly to the edge of the tape. Continue to pull the rip cord to complete the shrink. You will notice that near the termination, there may be gaps and it looks as though it will not seal. After a few minutes, it will compress down and create a watertight seal. If you feel more comfortable, you can squeeze it. That completes our installation of the CSGO Medium Voltage Cold Shrink Kits. To learn more, visit Burndy.com. Thank you.